Yeah, you already know it's your boy Joe back at it again, mancodingface.com. Listen, your boy is back. Today we're gonna talk about routing, right? And the HTTP request. All right, let's do this. So we're gonna start with the get request, right? What the hell is a get request? Whenever you go to a page that's doing a get request, it's going to the server and saying, okay, take me to codingphase.com. So what happens there? It says, hey, get this page. When you come here to the slash, which is the home page. That little slash right there, it means take me to the root of the, the page, right? So it's saying, hey, go get this page and show it to the user, which is the client. Now let's talk about post requests. Let's say you go to Google and you say google.com and you come here, right? And you're like, okay, I want to do a search for, uh, let's say, cars. When you click enter, that does a you know, a post request to the server and it says, Hey, get me the search results that are matching the, the cars, right? So it comes back, it gives you the information, shows you pictures, shows you images, right? But remember, the first thing that you're doing is a post request, which is just sending it to, you know, sending it to the server and basically saying, Hey, send me back something, you know, send me back something or show me something else or save this data whatever it is right so those are the most simplest forms of post requests right now let's go and start making some routes right and what the hell is a route so when you go to google.com like i said before that's a get request so we're gonna set that up right now basically you're gonna come here you have this folders here you open up the source folder you open up the routes and then here, this one that says web, which it means for the website. Now, let's do something like this. Let's do slash get. And then it's going to, let's return back when you come here and say, hey, cars, right? We're going to do something like this. Okay, we're going to return. Well, technically, you don't have to say return. In, in basically crystal lang or ruby so instead of saying return cars or return cars instead of doing that all you have to do is just say like that you ended it with just cars and then that's being returned now let's go to the server and let's do yarn run server up server coming up it's up there if you go and say localhost port 3000 slash cars is gonna return back to you the string cards right that's what we wanted it's basically what it's doing here it's saying hey whenever you get a get request to the address slash cars do a car string show them a car string right it's that simple guys sum it up so if you want to do a get request to the server, which means, hey, when I land on this page, get this page or get this string or get this list, whatever you want to print out to the screen, get it, right? So if I come to slash cars, show me cars. If I come into slash user, show me a user profile. Whatever it is that you want to show the user or the client or whoever's actually watching, your your website or visiting your website that's basically what the get request is doing all right sometimes you might even use it to get data you could return back a data file to somebody with um ajax but right now that's more advanced you're gonna see that later on we'll come back and teach you guys the other rest calls which are here if you go to the documentation you could see all the rest calls which are get post put patch delete i will do every single one but for now i want you guys to learn how to code on this process like this all right so keep following the tutorials you already know it's your boy joe back at it again codingface.com i'm teaching you guys in a higher level very simple you know dummy proof and <laughs> you know because that's how i like to teach it you know i don't want to teach you guys in a way where it's gonna be overwhelming 
it's just keeping it simple okay and you already know man by the way if you want to learn how to become a web developer and you want to learn from the courses that i did they're right there in the tutorials or on my tutorials in the description check it out take your time go through the links click on it and make sure you visit codingface.com all right you already know support joe back at it again peace